Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. I'm so glad to see you, my wonderful students. And I want to believe all of you are prepared for my test. For some time now, we have been talking about reproduction. We have dealt with different aspects of reproduction and uh, gave you a short assignment on the cell division. So can someone tell me what cell division is and explain one of the processes? I'm expecting all hands to be held by now. Anybody? Just one person? I'm expecting all hands all by now. If you have done a self-study in the library or on the internet, I want to believe you can give me something. I'm disappointed. Okay, let me hear you, Rhoda. Cell division is a process by which cell divides. We have two processes of cell division. We have the meiosis and the mitosis. But I'll talk you mainly on the meiosis. Under the meiosis, we have two different stages. We have the meiosis one and the meiosis two. Under the meiosis one, we have four different stages. We have the prophase, the metaphase, the anaphase, and the talophase. Under the prophase one, we have five different stages, which includes the leptotin, the diplotin, we have the liptotin, we have the zygotin, we have the putritin and the diacatesis. Wow, that's brilliant! Give a round of applause, please. Some of you are not clapping because you've not read. If you do not clap very well now, that will be a deduction to your marks. I'm impressed. At least, someone has not disappointed me. And today, I've made up my mind not to do a written test. So what she has presented, that's the score for all of you. Rhoda, yes. I really like the way you answered that question in class. Oh. So please, I just want you to pull me through. Like, you know, you, you talked about chitin and dictonomy and all those things. So please, just explain it. I don't have an idea of that. Mm -hmm. But you answered the questions in class. I don't know. I'm just going to make my research and I'm declaring about it. Well, you answered it in class. I just thought to go and make my own research too. I don't know. Please, I beg you. I beg you. But you answered the questions in class. I don't know. I was amazed when you answered the questions. Just tell us now, please. I don't you know, know it. it. Go you don't really need to go deep. Go just I don't know anything about it. I'm go just down. going to the library. I'm just going to the library. Bye -bye. Why are you behaving like this now? Like seriously? Just to explain. <laughs> Can you imagine? If you know it, she'll come and meet you to learn everything that you know. But just to tell you small, small details, she's just doing it. I don't think that rubbish that now. you notice it also. It has been part of her behavior. Nothing is very, very bad. time. She thinks she's wise. It's alright. Okay. I only show you one curry face now. Sister Rhoda! Sister Rhoda! Yes, yes, Sister Rhoda! Yes, yes. mm -hmm. I want to discuss something with you. Okay. I'll be having these scary dreams for some days now and I want you to assist me in prayers. Prayers? Yes. I'm not a chaplain for fine out. Please life. just assist me. I'm not the someone that will pray with me. Sorry, I'll pass. Don't help me. Please just go to the chapel. Have a class. Please. Please. I'm going to class. I'm running late. Please, Sister, Sister Rhoda. Rhoda. Sister Rhoda! Sister Rhoda! Sister Rhoda! Praise the Lord. This morning I'll be speaking to you the parable of the talent. There are three people that God gave talent in the Bible. And the first one, he gave five talent. And the second one, he gave two. And the third one, he gave one. And the first one make use of his talent and his master came and blessed him. Why the second one also make use of his talent and the Lord came and said, you faithful servant, enter ye into the glory. He went to the last one, which is the last servant, which he gave one and he asked him a question. Have you received the talent? Have you used it for my glory? He said to his master, Do you want to reap where you do not sow? That when I hid what you gave to me, so I will not make I do not make use of it. Praise the Lord. And the Lord told him, You are a wicked servant from today, that you will not enter into your glory. So there are some of us here who are not making use of our talent. 
and God has given you a talent. But I know that as many sit there today, if only that you will stand for him and walk for him the way he wants you to walk. And I pray for you as to make use of your talent, what God has deposited in you, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Sister Rhoda, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Hope all is well. All is not well. How was the matter? I just well had a sad news from home that my parents have been divorced. And that has been distracting me. This has, it's, it's bothering my mind, Sister Rhoda. It's distracting you. Should that be a distraction? From your book, the only solution to what you have been saying to me is that you have to study. That's the reason. Nothing else can solve it. You just have to face your book, study hard. Look at me now. I'm not being pompous or anything. You know my grades, right? That's because I'm spending my time in the library, in the classroom, solving my books. You just have to study very, very hard. That's the only solution to it. It's not crying or putting on a sad face. It won't help you. Just study your book hard. That's what I have for you. At least, can we just pray together? Pray? Ah, the word is enough for the wise. Studying your book will help you. Please, no you prayer will you. you can excuse me, I'm busy. Sister Ruda, it's just a prayer. You can't see. When you came in, I'm busy solving my mathematics. Please, you are disturbing. I don't like no even I'm busy. Oh, I think that princess mm -hmm. died. Princess? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a very sad news. Really sad. So that one is going like that. Just like that. Yeah, may the Lord keep the rest of us. Amen. Yeah. Well, I'm off to the library. Part of God's grace bestowed upon you, don't you understand? But, sir, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm studying my book and I'm. Um... God is really disappointed in you. You have neglected the souls of men, souls of men committed unto your care with your selfish gain. Baba, those people are distraction. They will distract me by paying attention to all those things they are talking about. I need to focus on my book. I really need to work hard. And that's what I'm doing. Rhoda, your stay on campus. Your stay on campus has brought you fame. Your stay on campus has brought you good success. Baba, and that was because I was reading my book. Your stay on campus has brought you honor and awards just for you alone. Nothing related to the kingdom of heaven. Rhoda! God really trusted in you, Rhoda. That is why he sent princess. He sent princess to you. But what did you give her? You couldn't give her the water of life. You couldn't show her the way of life. Rhoda, you are a fruitless tree. Rhoda, you are an unprofitable servant. Rhoda, why? Do you know how many souls that will be required from your hands? Do you know how many souls crying in hell just because of you, Rhoda? Why? You are an unprofitable servant and God's hunger is upon you. You have freely disappointed God, Rhoda. Rhoda, you are meant to be salt. You are meant to be a salt that sees in this tasteless world, that sees in their tasteless and worthless life. But what have you been? You are poison. You have poisoned their life. And their souls will be required from you. Brother, you are freely, 
You are afraid of Kim Jong the banker, the rod of God, and God is not happy with you. Listen. 